Hey hi guys, this is Anthi. I am back with another video. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about uh, uh, future engine techni techniques. This is a new playlist uh, which was uploaded in my YouTube channel. Just uh, have a look on it. Uh, and the previous video, I have ex previous video I have explained about uh, uh, what are the future engineering techniques. Is there overview of future engineering techniques? In this video, I am explaining one by one future engineering techniques. And first, uh, this is the first video on future engineering techniques. So that is mean, median, more imputation. What is mean by mean, median, mode? You have when you are uh, studying in st uh, statistics or when you are in uh, tenth or inter, you have already know about mean, median, mode. Where is mean is a average of number, median is a you have know all about this. That mean, median, mode also used in the data science. Uh, like how I will uh, show you how that is used. Uh, where is the mean, median, mode will use? These are uh, are the mean, mode, median, mode are used in missing completely at random. The data which is completely at missing completely at random, it's all to replace the NAN values and the most frequent occurrence. For this uh, this scenario, I'm using this um, library. Uh, I am import this library into another. Next, uh, for that, I am this scenario. I am importing the data set uh, Titanic data set. Okay, you have also downloaded the data Titanic data set from my channel. Okay, let's import the data. Read the data set read underscore pd dot read underscore csv to dot uh, titanic titanic dot csv let's see the data set now data set dot html yeah this is my data set whereas uh, for this scenario i'm using the data set like uh, uh, passengers not a passenger sorry age and uh, fair age and survived these are uh, totally different okay for that i am using use columns are equals to use column is equals to use column is equals to first i am using the age and the next i am using the fair our data set i have taken from this okay of course i am uh, i am going to find is there any null values for that i am using the df dot uh, is nan from the juice where the null value is a uh, take all the null values and uh, add it and uh, get output like this so there is in a there is a uh, uh, 177 null values for uh, for uh, the by using the mean median mode imputation i want to solve this uh, problem okay after that i am for that i am using the diff function null then is a dot df fair comma variable variable means which uh, Uh, I am creating a new data and uh, like use column and variable slash four median and that is equal to data dot slash variable dot fill that uh, non values and the mean median. going to take a median median is equals to df dot variable age dot mean try and find the mean okay i create mean and then let's see how what is the mean value of this uh, data age let's say six yeah nine six twenty nine point six nine 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 something is the mean value of this data um, for this mean value of this data so i want to input this data this mean value into the data set like uh, when we uh, see top 10 header so there we have content at fifth place we have content nine we want to replace the nine with this mean 
Now already this variable. Now use this uh, old by the, using this code we have using dot and values uh, comma it's up to find values data dot uh, variable is age. Now see the we have dot head. Let's mark the each one and then the variable data dot top ten head. Let's yeah. We have filled this uh, in fifth place. We have nan value at age. Voila. Uh, after that, applying this uh, mean value, age mean value to the data uh, that replaced with this uh, nan frequently occurred. So it is found as it was clear that nine values so that place was replaced with 29.6 something okay like that uh, we have changed this and now we want to find the standard deviation for the age and age medium okay. Okay. we have dot Age column we have 14.5 percent standard deviation, and then we want to find the standard deviation for age under code underscore age medium underscore. Yeah, we have get the 13.00 something. There is a minor differences. So there is a not a lot of difference between these two values. So we can make it. I am going to graph here. I am going to do a graph between these two variables. So for that, I am using the. I have already imported the MATLAB leap and So now plot the graph. Uh, graph with this figure is equals to plot dot uh, figure. what are the things they what is mean by one 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 arc yeah one through this uh, side we can see the what are the arcs and what are the uh, what are the parameters are, are for all this and the next one is uh, i'm running the graph between the age and age mean so that i'm using that as a of age dot Another one is we are plotting the age mean, age median. So for that, we have dot age median, age median underscore age underscore median dot plot. I am using the color you want to make your defense so I am using color it is a green okay and the next the line I pause in the lines dot label equals to axis dot um, get legendary And uh, I am calling the axis dot dot legend and 
paling I get this uh, output as the uh, blue line is the uh, A's, uh, A's line and whereas the uh, green line is, uh, A's line. This is the difference between the uh, after before and after applying this technique this is the main this is the main this is the formula r main here okay. i hope uh, you have understand all about this process and see and like any future one by one by one one by one video i will explain about the all the techniques in the future engineering okay i hope you have understand about this video okay friends bye take care please make sure subscribe to our youtube channel for more updates about data science okay bye friends